Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Babe, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a, another New World video, and this time it's going to be a guide on how to get your 580 or the quote unquote legendary quest. So this is going to tell you about all of the prerequisites as well as the actual quest line in order to unlock your 580 weapon. And the 580 weapon is available for every single different weapon. Although I am going to be talking very generally because every single weapon is going to have a very different quest line, taking you to different areas and asking you to do different things. So I'm just going to be telling you about the process as well as showing you the weapon just so if anyone doesn't know, this is how you get it and what it looks like. That being said, a lot of the content in here is group content. So I would highly recommend uh, having some friends that are also on this quest. If not, then you can just be like me and ask around, maybe find some people that are also working on this quest or just want some free elite uh, farming gear and loot and stuff like that because you are going to be farming a lot of elite zones, especially the high level zones. So with that being said, if you do enjoy this video or it does help you out, make sure to please leave a like and subscribe as I really do appreciate it and it really helps the channel get noticed. So with that being said, let's take a look at this weapon. All right, so here we are with the actual weapon. I quickly wanted to show you what it looked like because I'm sure not every single person that plays this game even knows that there are quests available to get you a 580 weapon. And this is really important. It's going to boost your eye level from anywhere between 10 and 20 points, depending on what the rest of your gear looks like. For me personally, it gave me 13 whole gear score points just for one of the 580 weapons. And I still am going to be getting my second soon. So with that being said, let's take a look here. The weapon for the Great Axe is going to be called Reformation. That's also the name of the quest line. Just so you know, once you unlock it, the quest line is going to be called Reformation. And all of the quest lines in the game for these weapons are about rebuilding it. So usually they'll tell you to go to an area and kill enemies and pick up and loot stuff. That's just a quick look into the quest section. As far as the weapon goes, as you can see, it is 580 with 28 stat and two predetermined perks. So I'm almost certain they're predetermined because the last three people I've talked to have all had the exact same perks on their weapons, which is really unfortunate because these perks actually suck really bad, especially for the great axe. I don't know about the other weapons, but these are really unfortunate. Ideally, they would have had perks similar to the one you get from the syndicate because crit chance and heavy and light attack damage is very very good i actually almost considered still continuing to use my syndicate great axe but it does give you just straight up 100 extra damage on the reformation just because of the gear score so in the end i ended up going with that and it gives a couple more stats so that is the weapon and what I'm going to be talking about. Like I said, you can get this not just for the Great Axe, but for every weapon in the game, Fire Staff, Life Staff, everything. And if you are looking for groups for this, people will often be asking for groups to farm specific Elite Zones, the 580 quest, and some people might even call it the Legendary quest because I think this used to reward Legendary gear back in the beta, but now they've changed it. It is simply a purple, so you will not be getting that third extra perk. So now that everyone is on the same page and we all know what we're talking about, we can hop over and I'll tell you about the prerequisites and the areas you're going to be needing to focus on. All right, so here we are out in the map and I'm going to be showing you the general areas that you're going to need to really focus on in order for these weapon quests to even unlock. The very first prerequisite is actually going to be for your weapon. So the very first one here is you need to have your weapon mastery all the way maxed to level 20 for this quest to even show up. Whenever I finished all the other prerequisites, only my great axe and hatchet quest showed up. None of my other ones, not the sword and shield, nothing. Only the ones that are level 20 will even give you a chance to do them. That being said, once you are level 20, doing whatever method you enjoy, Go over here to these top three zones as this is what we're going to be focusing on. So in order for these quests to pop up, you are going to need to do every quest in the Great Cleave Zone as well as the Eden Grove Zone. It is very confusing, at least for me, because in the Great Cleave Zone, the very last quest you do in order to complete that zone is actually here in Caminus, 
which is just north of Savikistan in Great Cleave. So technically, Kaminus is not in Great Cleave, but this is the last quest you get for Great Cleave, or at least I, this is what I believe to be the case, because I had a quest here for a long time, and I thought I was done with Great Cleave, but I guess I wasn't. Once I went through here, killed the enemies, looted the chest, I finally completed Great Cleave, and my quest actually showed up. Now, also make sure that you've done all the quests in Eden Grove as well. So in Eden Grove, you'll know you're done once you get the quest Anguin Anguish for the Genesis Expedition, as well as the Threat of Life, which is an elite quest for Spriggan Arena. So now that you've finished both of these areas side quests, you should have some story mission or extra missions pop up rather. These are going to be side missions and these are going to be what you are going to start in order to get your weapon unlocked. Whenever you do go to get them, it's not going to show the weapon as 580 or anything like that. It's just going to show a purple hatchet or a purple great axe in my case. And if you're wondering about the great axe and hatchet in particular, in order to get the great axe or the hatchet quest rather, the quest giver is right here where my mouse cursor is, to the right of Null Cavity and to the left of Katara Falls. And if you're wondering about the great axe, that quest actually comes here from a person in Valor Hold Outpost. So once you have those quests pop up, or if you don't have those quests pop up, I know quite a few people did say they needed to do quests in Shattered Mountains in order to have those quests reveal themselves. That being said, as you can see, I haven't completed all the quests in Shattered Mountains and mine still popped up. So I don't know if that is a prerequisite, but if you have done all the quests up to the points that I have mentioned in Great Cleave and Eden Grove and they still don't pop up for you, then maybe try working your way through the Shattered Mountain side quest and maybe you get some luck then. So now that you've done all of these quests, I know there's a lot of prerequisites, but you've cleared out the areas that you need to clear out. Hopefully by then you'll have a few of these little markers like you can see here, this quest I haven't accepted. You'll have those pop up around in those two areas that I mentioned for the hatchet and the great axe. Yours might be in a different area. I think um, it's over here in the left half of Great Cleave for the fire staff. It's in different areas, but just look around these areas for new quests and they should talk about reforming as in reformation for the great axe or just rebuilding your weapon. So we can take a look at the quest right now and I have a really good example because I'm still on the hatchet quest. So if we work all the way down here, as you can see, it simply shows if you get it from the quest giver, it'll show a purple tier five weapon and it'll be the weapon that you uh, are mastered in. So it'll also be called something like rebuilding. Like I said, reformation was for the great axe. This one's called reforging the Azure Ravager, and this is for the hatchet. So this is like a larger meta quest that is going to stay here the entire time until you unlock the actual weapon. And it'll actually continually update every time you finish the sub quest which in this case here is called sticking to the plan. So the quest here sticking to the plan is for me to go to Perryville in search of uh, items to rebuild parts of the hatchet. And if we take a look here, this is going to be a very common theme. This is the elite zone in Weaver's Fen, Perryville. It doesn't matter what level it is. These quests have taken me all over the map from the elite zone in Brightwood Isle. It's taken me multiple times over here to Eridenis in uh, Restless Shores. It takes you up here to Scorpius. Honestly, in pretty much every area that has a decently high level elite zone, a lot of these weapons will take you there. On top of that, they'll take you to elite zones here in Eden Grove at the Tower of Malevolence. It took me all the way back here to the Mangled Pox Gate as well as Nilo's Visage. And lastly, I had to finish the quest up here in the very far north of Merkguard. Merkguard has some very high level enemies that are even one shotting groups of 10 to 20 of us that we had in there, pretty much all level 60s, and it was still manhandling us. So a lot of really brutal enemies you're gonna have to take on if you want these items. Finally though, you're gonna be rewarded after you take on all of these elites, get all of the items that you need, You'll finally be told to go over in my location to Mountain Home Outpost. 
I talked to the guard and she rewarded me with the 580 great axe. As far as I understand and the people I've talked to, that is the same case for every weapon that uh, people have unlocked that are 580. It's essentially go here to this elite area, kill these enemies, pick this up, go to the, the next area and so on and so forth. It's not really a difficult or complicated process rather. It's the same process over and over again in different elite areas. Also one tip for anyone that hasn't been there, this area of Eridanus, actually you need either 175 woodcutting or 100 woodcutting in, in order to even enter the inner sanctum to kill the boss, which is likely what you're gonna need to do. So just so you know, before you go there, make sure you have someone that has decently high level woodcutting. So that is the general idea for the quest. I know there's a lot to absorb here, so let me quickly summarize it all. Do all the side quests in Great Cleave, all the side quests in Eden Grove, maybe even the side quests in Shattered Mountain. Eventually you'll unlock new quests in Great Cleave and Eden Grove for your perspective weapons. It'll be mentioning something about rebuilding these weapons. Once you accept these quests to rebuild your weapons, you'll get sub quests to go to different PVP zones and kill enemies and pick up loot in order to rebuild your weapon. Once you have done this a few times, they will send you to corrupted areas. In these corrupted areas, you simply have to kill 50 of the enemies and you can do any of the levels. So for instance, I had to kill, I think, 100 corrupted enemies in total at portals. So what I would do is I would go down here to either Windsward or First Light, where the enemies are level 25, and I would just kill them all by myself because it's really easy. Once you clear those, you'll have the quest auto update, and then you'll have to go and kill more elite enemies and come back, rinse and repeat. It is a lot, a lot of quests. I think in total, it took me about either between seven and nine quests of killing different elite enemies in order for me to finally finish the quest. And like I said, it took me all over the entire region. So overall, that has been my experience with getting and unlocking this 580 weapon. So it is quite a long process. And if you really want the best gear, then of course, this is something that you're gonna need to do but it is gonna take a long time and you are gonna need a lot of help. There is practically no way to solo all of these missions. A lot of the bosses you have to fight in these elite areas, especially the 65 plus elite areas are very, very difficult and like on world boss levels. So you're gonna to need to have at least a group of five. You can maybe get away with a group of three if you all are really good and in sync. But in general, I found that groups of five to 10 15, even 20 if you're going to Merc Guard is definitely much more uh, enjoyable of an experience and not as stressful. But that was my experience with getting the 580 gear. Sorry if this video was quite a bit more drawn out than it normally is, but this was a very long process to unlock this weapon and I didn't want to get anything mixed up or feel like anything was left out. So that's going to be about it for this video. I really hope that cleared up any misinformation that might be out there or anyone that is wondering about this quest. Like I said, I know a lot of rumors are still going along about this quest. A lot of people in my faction and in my server still don't really know too much about this quest. So I'm trying to get the information out there so everyone can get as geared up as they can. And like I said, it is a long process. So maybe just take it a day at a time and eventually you'll unlock some pretty nice weapons. So with that being said, I really do hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all very soon.